Uh, we start with the filters as we said last, last time. Uh, the word is active. The active filter essentially stands for the word there is an active device during filtering. So, some property of an active device has been used. Otherwise, we shall see soon that even a normal RC or LRC filters can do as much a good job as otherwise, but uh, why active? We will see later. A uh, typical filter requirements as I have shown you last day was we have four kinds of filter we may use. One is something which passes almost everything except uh, up to a frequency, we call it low pass. Something which passes all of it from starting from some frequency below which it is nothing is passed, so it is called high pass. You are allowed to pass between two frequencies the signal, but otherwise block everywhere or do not pass anything there, here or here. And the finally, you are passing everywhere except some band of frequencies. Okay. So, these band reject, band pass, high pass and a low pass. These are the four filters which we will be using in any of the circuits which you will use in your whole career. Okay. Okay, we are right now as the word filter says does not say whether I, it should be analog filter or it can be a digital filter. You can actually have either kind of them. Okay. Normally, uh, even if I am doing a analog, uh, sorry, digital filter, we actually convert partly to digital in a half way, and what we call switch capacitor filters. These are essentially digital filters, but actually copy out most of the analog functions. Okay. So the basic filtering still could be said to be an analog filter. Of course, there are many digital interesting filter, your signals and system theory and communication system theory will deal with many more of them later in your career or later in your classes. Uh, here is a typical low pass filter shown to you, maybe I will center it up first. Is it? Yeah. Uh, this is typically ideal filter, this is what I am expecting ideally. Uh, but when I actually pass through any active filtering system, what I see is till certain frequency called omega p, the certainly the transfer function does not show a constant value, but ripples up that is keeps on changing and uh, till this point which is essentially a pole, okay, which is essentially a pole. At this point, the gain starts falling or the transfer function starts falling its value because that is a pole we said and it, it ideally it should have reached to 0 at this point, but it did not it actually crossed that point and before it actually settles to 0 again ripples, okay, again ripples. So, the way we define this this is of course called the ripple frequency, ripple which is passing through and we'll, we may assume it is a universal one frequency ripple in real life that also is not true. Ripple itself will have different components, but right now assume single frequency ripples. Ideally what did we want? We want flat response here and sharp fall there. This is ideally a filter low pass filter was asking for. What we are essentially getting a fixed value and plus ripple up to a frequency where the pole starts that band we call pass band. That means where the transfer function is such that everything is passing. Beyond this depends on the number of poles this may be 20 dB down, 40 dB down or 60 dB down whatever it is the values start going down and when it reaches the so called ideal filter value, we essentially say that we have reached there is a band between the pass band and before everything becomes 0 let us say this band is called transition band. That means from high to low the frequency range is called transition band. Ideally what was what do we really need transition band? Ideally we want transition band should be 0. Okay, that is what ideally we are looking, but what we are seeing in real life there is a transition band, there is a fall time or fall this up to which it will keep falling. 
beyond this we would have expected something to become constant, but it did not, but it also ripples and maybe finally it settles to the value which you are expecting. The band in which nothing is passed as per the low pass requirement we call it stop band. So, for a, any low pass filter we are interested in what is the ripple magnitude, ripple frequency, what is the expected pass band you are getting, what is the transition band you are getting and what is the stop band you are getting. And of course, as I say ripple frequency itself will be varying, but assume right now it is single frequency ripple occurs. So, this is a definition for any filter this. So, ideally for a low pass I have expect A max be 0, okay. that means this should have come here. I want transition band frequency omega this low minus omega p should be as 0 as possible and again this A max be 0. Ideally this is what was expected and uh, if that occurs we say we have a ideal low pass filter. If you look at the other band pass requirement it is similar. A Typical good band pass filter would have expected to have this transition between this frequency and this frequency. The transfer function should have value which is constant and everything is passing. Okay. Below this frequency, we do not want anything to pass, so we say lower stop band. Beyond this frequency, nothing should pass, we say it is upper stop band. So, there is a lower side uh, stop band and upper stop band in between there is a pass band. However, in real life this is not starting from here, it actually again ripples and some kind of a Gaussian function one gets or rather signum function it gets and then that means beyond this value stop band is, I mean pass band is this but there is a ripple over it here then it goes down. So, there is a pole, there is a somewhere 0 starting here, there is a pole going down and one can say it again ripples before it actually reaches to 0. Okay. So, essentially in our design what are we expected to do that where it starts, where it ends and what is this ripple magnitude is going to be. Is that clear? That is what we must know and what should we do? Minimize them as much as possible. Same way this is some transition band, there is a transition band, I also want transition band to be as close to 0 as is possible. We already said that a, a pass uh, this band pass filter is essentially a combination of low pass and high pass. If I say this is my F L and if I say this is my F H, please remember I repeat this, that is why I gave the name separate this is my F L and this is my F H that means first there is some high pass starts and then there is a low pass starts. So, in between both are passing and so then the band pass. If I separate the upper frequency if I make this as F H and if I make that as F L that means high pass sorry low pass followed by after certain frequency high pass there is a frequency band in which nothing is passing. So, we say it is a band reject. So, basic design of a filter is essentially this and this, this is just a setting of the frequencies to suit your band pass or band reject requirement. So, in design of course, in this course we should have done all of them, time is not enough. So, we will only do one good low pass and one good high pass and if we get that then we say okay, this is the circuit which can be then manipulated to create a band pass as well as a band reject filter. Now, having showed you this is my requirement and this is what ideally and non ideally I am going to get, I want to come closer to ideal. But before we go to act networks, active networks, I just want to see a network itself, okay, normal network itself. We have done this earlier as well. If you have a RC network, okay, 1 R and 1 C. If I take a transfer function of this V0 by Vns, which is 1 upon Cs upon 1 upon Cs plus R, which is 1 plus Rcs, or it can be written as 1 upon 1, 1 by Rc. If I define a frequency, cutoff frequency as 1 upon Rc, this is nothing but 1 upon S by omega 0. 
what does that mean there is a pole in negative half minus omega 0 and uh, if I plot the Bode's plot therefore at this the gain will start falling ok. So, a simple RC network actually acts like a which filter low pass filter. Now one can think little interestingly if you see now ideally I wanted this sharp fall is that correct. I must all my design why I am doing active filters all my in any passive filter this is going to occur is that clear. So, what I say can I do some mischief ok or close to this I come closer to ideal and the active part should help me in getting these as close to the ideal value as is possible. If I do that then I will actually create a filter which is close to ideal low pass. So, why active uh, part is necessary because I want to shift the slope down actually. If I do so something else may happen I will say whether I can tolerate that or not I will check that but at least I want fall to be as sharp as possible. Let us say it is 120 dB down at this point ok is that clear. So, it will sharp very sharply ok is that clear. So, essentially I am trying to see I have done this pole 0 theory and I am now started looking here some way there should be multiple poles coming there ok. If they, are, they occur at very close face or same point then my fall can be. But if I look at the other filter equivalence of this which is interesting ok. So, basically a active low pass filter ideally could be a RC circuit as I just now did followed by a voltage follower is that correct follows by a voltage follower. So, whatever is the voltage is here will be transferred here because it is a voltage follower. So, this is the easiest way of making a low pass filter we have not seen its transfer function so far. So, we do not know whether it is going closer to ideal but this should do as a low pass filter with an active device. What is the purpose of follower here? if any load occurs at the capacitor it will load that out. This buffer will separate your input response from the output loads is that clear that is why I put a buffer in okay, which is my voltage follower. By doing this I am still achieving 1 upon RC kind of requirements and I am getting low pass with of course, 20 dB down gain falling. Okay. I can do similar thing for and as I say high pass is just the opposite of low pass and I say ok replace R by C and C by R wherever there. So, I put a C here R here again derive this transfer function which I get S by omega 0 upon S by omega 0 plus 1 where 1 upon R C is omega 0. Now, you see how many things are happening here how many poles are there and how many zeros are there there is a 0 at s is equal to 0 itself and there is a pole at s is equal to minus omega 0 is that clear. So, there is a 0 and there is a pole. So, till omega 0 which will dominate the 0 will start dominating is that correct. So, initially what could occur you can see from here 20 dB 0 means 20 dB per decade rise so, it start rising ok. At the pole what is the fall should be minus 20 dB, but what is it rising already with 0 plus 20 dB. So, at this point onwards 20 minus 20 0 dB gain becomes or output function becomes constant. Is that high pass requirement at frequency above 1 upon R c I want transfer function to have unity value or no attenuation it just passes out inputs is that correct. So, how do I create in this case you have a CR here pass through a follower and this will act like a high pass filter. This is 0 this is 0 and pole together constant ok. So, obviously now one thing you must have got from there if I have a low pass I would avoid zeros is that actually 0 should be at infinite ok. 
if I am looking for high pass, I will bring 0 wherever I want flatness to start. Is that clear? So, that means I have now a trick that if I have a s in the numerator, I am creating 0 s plus something also, but s is in the numerator and s plus something in the denominator. If that kind of function I create, then what I will create? I pass. If only 1 upon s plus something I create, I will create a low pass. Is that point clear? This is the trick of filtering that okay, create properly zeros and poles such that you actually achieve low pass and high pass values. Okay. The only thing trick is how much to get whether this value should be 1 or it should have gain function. If I want a gain function, what should I do? I should do actually a R here, then it will also give me some gain out of it. Like a normal amplifier, I may amplify it also. Now, these tricks are always played in many of the filter designs, but using this what is the main problem we saw that that 20 dB is the all that we could get in you cannot have fast rise or fast falls. Okay. So, this though this is a filter low pass high pass can be always realized by this try yourself one and you will see yes it will cut off somewhere and it will show you, but the response will not be closer to ideal. But why should you always have ideal? Yeah, the reason is, okay, so there is something you must remember. Many circuits do not mind, for example, that it should actually be cut off completely. As far as anyway, it is like a uh, noise going on a diffam ladder. So, anyway, I do not care very much what happens. But if I do care it is single end system, I will worry about it. So, depending on the what is going it going to dry or where from the next stage will be your choice may not be you should not see that I should have a ripple or should not have. Now, way I have figured out and that is whole work today or not necessarily I will complete. I have figured out basically if I see a function as I am getting I know any conic section take any conic section okay, straight line parabola hyperbola circle, ellipse or for that matter any curve for that matter can always be represented by a very simple functions. What is that function is called? Polynomials. If I write a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square up to n polynomials, I assure you that any curve can be fitted. Okay. It may require 1000 terms to actually get closer to the curve you are looking for. It is a fit function technique. So, I figured out that if I can generate some functions which also gives to be like those zeros and poles which I am looking, then I can have a this equivalent of a filter. I repeat what I said. I create a polynomial or I create a function whose numerator and denominator looks like zeros and poles, but their values can be tailored then I can say I am right now creating a filter for that function is that correct? because that response will be something closer to filter is that correct. This is the technique which most designers or most circuits in the analog we use that we actually create some kind of a known functions whose values mathematically we can derive and then try to fit it on those on a circuit and we say how close we are getting. These two filters which we shall see look little later, one is called Butterworth filter, the other is called Chebyshev filters. Why I am showing you? Because in Butterworth filter, the ripple can be minimized. What is the advantage of a Butterworth filter? That the ripples are very small and therefore, it is called maximally flat, maximally flat. So, all Butterworth filters are so designed that their ripples are very zero close to small value or 0 kind, it is a flat here. Okay. But the price I pay because of the function I am using to create the ripple 0 or ripple small, there will be a transition band, is that correct? There will be a transition band. If I want to reduce transition band, then I will say the number of poles which I require higher and higher that number of remember each pole will require let us say one circuit of this kind equivalently saying I just now showed you each pole requires one such circuit if there are n poles I will require n such circuits. So, I figure out that if I want I use 
a Butterworth filter, then I can maximize the flatness, but to reduce this transition band, I may require larger number of pools. Is that correct? On the contrary, Chebyshev filters are more in this, they say we cannot reduce very much the ripple, okay. but for a smaller number of poles, I can reduce the transition band. Is the two difference clear? In the maximally flat filters, Butterworth filters, the ripple is smaller, small, very small. At the cost, if I want to reduce the transition band, I will require larger number of poles or larger number of sections as I call. Okay. In the case of Chebyshev, I say I cannot reduce this very much, I will tolerate ripple, okay. but for a smaller number of poles, I will give better transition or at least same transition I would have got in Butterworth okay, with a smaller number. What is the advantage of smaller number of sections or smaller poles as circuit is smaller numbers? What is the cost? Cost reduces. If your number of sections goes down, the price goes down. But price going down at what cost? The ripple. Is that correct? So, if you want a very good filter, then you pay price, okay, higher price. Is that correct? So, maximally flat filters will require larger sections but will cure much less ripples. Is that correct? This is something all designers must keep in mind. Kitna paisa jeb mein hai. All IC designers are always told that anything I use, because we have a silicon area, known area, let us say few millimeters by few millimeters, say one centimeter at best I may have both sides. So many million transistors I am putting. If I do not put additional hardware, I can put something else there. Is that clear? That means, the price of silicon is very, very high area, silicon area. What is in equivalently we say like in Mumbai, we say it is a real estate, silicon is a real estate. Any small micron by micron you throw, you are losing money. Okay. So, whole trick in integrated circuit designs are how to minimize area or increase density, is that correct? So, if you are doing the same function with larger circuit, oh yeah, it will do better, but you paid price, high, high price for that. Okay. So, one must understand some chips we sell very heavily high, at high price. If someone like young man says, I want exactly this filter, this should do this, this man says, no, no, I do not have only this much money, tolerate So, the trick of design is what is the customer wants. Okay. So, in all our engineering, this part is never explained till maybe graduate, of course, dual degree will learn in fourth year. We are never telling that all this our theory, etcetera, is as good as the money in your pocket. Okay. That is it. Okay. So, this has to be understood why we learn all the tricks, because we do not know what customer at the end will give me a response. We say, it may karna hai. So, aise hi milega okay. so I have now suggest you, here is a circuit active filter, which is a generalized two pole filter. Okay. How much, how many, what do you mean by two poles? How many capacitor RC should be? Two RCs. Okay. This is generalized. Why I say generalized? What does that mean? Generalized means all four filters should be create, can be created out of this. Is that correct? Generalized. I never say it is low pass high pass, band pass, I, from this circuit by proper choice of the y, y1s and y2s and y3s and y4, I should be able to create low pass, high pass, band pass, band reject. Is that clear to you? What is the advantage of such generalized network then? Because this is one time created, any user during design can just manipulate this and say okay, here is a low pass. So, he does not what is the other cost on design? Do you know what is the cost of design is? The time taken by so many engineers or called man years or man hours is the cost. Larger the circuit redesigned by you every block, then it will be costly every time. So, if I have a ready made block which can be manipulated to, to create different things, I have saved lot of money. That is essentially called semi custom. Something is prepared and used again and again. So, this is something equivalence of a semi-custom design. That means, a generalized block 
can be configured as either low pass, high pass or any other. Is that clear to you? Why I shown to you? This is something which all designers should know. Analysis wise this is not very great. This is same as what low pass, high pass we did. But here is some analysis I will show you. I have an input V in to one of the conduct, it can be admittance or conductance. Y is G plus J B. Y is G is the conductance, B is acceptance, okay, admittance. So, Y is equal to, as we said, Z is equal to R plus J X, same way it is the opposite of that. So, I say, okay, here is a Y1 component, Y2 component, Y3 component and feedback. This is two feedback. This is our follower, which I am not disturbing. Please remember this follower I have kept as it is. There is another feedback which I have brought here to output. Okay. Let us say Christian law at node V A, what are the current, what is the current entering? V in minus V A into Y 1, is that correct? Is the current passing through Y A? Network theory, simple, trivial. Yahan par do kaun se branch ja rahe currents ke? from V A to V B and V A to V 0, is that clear? These are two more branch current. So, branch current at V A must be 0, total current. So, this current must be this plus this. So, I write V A minus V B into Y 2, V A minus V 0 into Y 3, they must be equal. Kirchhoff law at node V A, 3 current summed up, okay. Same way I sum at V B, okay. I say at node V B, V B minus V A, a current either, a current or what is current here? No current, no current enters op-amp, that property I used. So, I say V B minus V A into Y 2 equal to V B by Y 4, V B into Y 4, okay. Then the third equation I see it, since this is a follower, this is V 0 but that should be same as V B, okay. By what is the, that is active part did you get, what, what is the active part I have used? Op-amp properties have been used in actually writing the networks, is that correct? These equation I could not have written if I have not used op-amp properties. What properties I used? Same old, no current enters, same potentials, both properties I used and I use this is a follower. Okay. So, I use this the property of OPAM and then could write such equations. If I solve this, you solve yourself, though I have solved, but you solve yourself at the end. You can do analysis I did, just look at the final trans function you write and verify. V 0 s by V n s, which is my either you write T s or you can also write H s, whichever way you are writing, either T is the transfer function. Normally, I have been using H as the transfer function, but I do not know from wherever earlier I had taken, there was a T, so I used T. Okay. So, maybe you call H S. So, I get Y 1 by 2 upon Y 1 Y 2, this kind of function. Please note down this function, rest you do yourself. Y 1 Y 2 upon Y 1 Y 2 plus Y 1 plus Y 2 plus Y 3 into Y. This is the transfer function I got for the circuit I have given there. Is that clear? Simple so Kirchhoff law ko solve kariye or ye expressions aap V0 by V in is. I will now explain a specific example. Which filter do you want me to do? We will see little later, but let us do this example. Now, in this, I create the first Y1, Y2, I put it as R1, R2 and this Y3, I4, I put as two capacitors. In our case, G is 1 upon R and Y is C S, okay. B rather, not, but y, these are Y only. This is capacitance, so C S is the uh, admittance of that and y, conductance of this is 1 upon R 1 and 1 upon R 2. This is the expression I just got for the transfer function G 1, G 2 upon G 1 plus G 2 plus S C 4, G 1, G 2, S C 3. So, now you look at it, 
at s is equal to 0 what is the value of h s? Yeah, abhi wala jo expression hai, please remember all that I have done is I have substituted here the actual g's and c's. Okay. So, I got g 1 g 2 upon g 1 g 2 plus s c 4 g 1 plus g 2 plus s c 3 is h s. Okay. At s is equal to 0, what is the value of transfer function? S0 hai, S0 hai, ye term chala gaya, G1, G2 by G1, G2, so 1. What does that, what does that means? At S is equal to 0, there is already a transfer function has a value. 1 means it could be normalized to some other H0, so it has a value. Is that correct? So, which uh, filter I am looking for now? Initially, there is a value. Which filter I am looking? Low pass. I have a value of the function of output gain available at this value. Is that clear? Now, when s tends to infinity, so there is a s is equal to j omega when omega tends to infinity, one can see the transfer function will go to 0. Is that correct? That means finally it is going to 0 that I see. It is 1 and finally it is going to 0. So, your consa characteristic dikh hai? low pass dikh hai. this is what we say initially value and then it is going towards 0. So, obviously I am looking for a low pass. So, can you now get this that by just substituting here the proper values of this I can create a low pass filter. How many poles you are seeing here? 2 poles. So, at least fall will be better than one single pole system. Is that correct? It will be better than the single poles. Achha, iska high pass banana hai to kya karna chahiye? Kya karna chahiye high pass ke liye? Ulta kar dijiye, jahan R hai wahan C lagaye, jahan C hai wahan R laga dijiye aur it, it will become an high pass filter. Okay. So, a generalized filter samay mein aya, kiyo hai isko liya ki sirf capacitance or resistance yadhi manipulate kiye gaye, so, I can create a different filter of my choice of different cutoff. Why different? Because R and C is in my value. So, a generalized system is But why it is not so good? Because it is now once made, at best you have only those two poles to manipulate. Additional is that clear? You cannot actually get to this person required sharp chai. So, this tolerance of yours is how much will be depending on as I said how much money you keep in your pocket. Okay. That is the way it is. This I have solved it. Now, I am going to tell you that it is maximally flat. Let us see whether it is. So, I wrote the transfer function as it is. This I have written R and this I have written. So, I have this transfer function. Ko one is it clear what I just substitute g's 1 upon r and y c s and I get this transfer function. If I uh, manipulate it better and I give a definition that tau 3 is r c 3 and let us assume r's are equal. My assumption is r's are equal, but I never said c's are equal. R's are equal, but c why I do not want to make c's equal because then the time there will same poles will come. So, I okay there are two different poles. One is related to R C 3, the other related to R C 4. So, this is the transfer function I got. Please note down H S is 1 upon 2 R C 4 S plus C 4 C 3 R square S square. Kitne poles hai yaan par? S square term aa gaya. Yane maa par do poles hai. If I define this, I can write H J omega magnitude, iska magnitude rakho ke. So, ye expression aata hai. Ye mene thoda sa uh, directly likha hai, you can also think how I, I have written. Okay. Achha, iske ek or method hai, do section yadi mujhe karna hai s square ke to kya karna chahiye? Iska partial fraction kariye, usko separate, kar, separate hui mat kariye, 1 upon s minus a into 1 upon s minus b. Transfer function ki theory kya hai? Gain hai. Gain kaise likhte hai? a is equal to a 1 into a 2. Is that correct? So, a transfer function banaya dusra transfer function bana ye isse the in output iske next ko input ko diya to product ho jayega is that point clear 
I repeat a transfer function H1 is using one pole, a transfer function H2 using second pole. Is that correct? I can create two separate functions. Output of the first is given to the input. So, the transfer function will get multiplied. So, 1 upon s minus a into 1 upon into s minus b automatically will appear. So, is the trick clear to you? Once you have two poles, you actually can create single pole sections and then keep output of that should be given to the next input, keep doing. So, as many sections you will put, those many poles you can create. Is that correct? If you put seven sections, that is why a word I use section. Each one pole will create one section. I have a number of pole sections, so I can create as many poles I want, and the trick is or they get always multiplied by H1, H2, H3, H4. This is the way we actually will implement higher pole functions. Anyway, is come in a value nikala hai or maximally flat karne ke liye kya requirement hai? that d by this function with d omega should be. 0, kisi iska maxima minima karne ke liye uska differential 0 kore, magnitude hai na, so flat rehna chahi, no change, so no change, of course less than omega 0 par hai, yadhi isko value solve kiya, ok, I can get a condition tau 3 is tau t 4 and c 3 is 2 c 4, yadhi ye condition meet kar diya mene, so maximally flat situation lies as sakta hai, is that point clear? I differentiated that below that cutoff and I say at this point, if I want no ripple, then what should happen? If I meet these conditions, then I would say I am going to have a maximally flat situation. Is that correct? Over ripple ka jo part hai wo, we can remove by actually choice of proper tau's and seeds. Is that clear? Or rather seeds. C3 should be twice of C4 in our case. If we substitute back in a normal function, the cutoff of this transfer function value will occur at 3 dB point. What do be 3 dB point means? Normally in Bode plot, what is this 3 dB point is? The corner. We start right there 20 dB, but in real life that is not the point where it starts, where 3 dB below it starts falling. Is that? It is a continuous curve. It is not Bode, what did he suggest? That instead of that continuous curve, you actually make two points and then you say it is your cutoff point. So, you can actually see if I substitute here this is 1 upon root 2 dB at omega equal to omega t 4 uh, 1 upon t 4 that is the corner frequency of the body is that correct. So, if I get the pole you can see this is ka solution many aapko yaha likhai hai 1 upon root t 4. 1 upon root 2 rc 4, bode mein kya likhenge ya root 2 ko chhod denge, why? We said it is a, in real life actual curve will be something like this, sorry, and ye 3 dB hai, is not it? To iske upar ka r, so rc 4, ok. So, one can see that I can create a low pass and how much is now fall will start from? because I made that condition tau 1 is 2 tau 4, right here the gain will starts falling by how many dBs? 2 poles hai na maha par, 8 point per 2 pole la diya mene, shift kiya hai or under what condition? Under this condition the 2 poles are matching, is that clear? And the maximally flat situation attained, so I got maximally flat falling down by 40 dB. So, at least 20 dB ke bajai 40 to kar diya mene. Thoda to stop uh, uh, transition band ko sharper kiya, kam kiya mene. And also what did I do? Flat kiya. Is mein kitne section lage? Do section. Or kuch badha na hai to kya karna padega? Ek or section lagao. So, hmm? idhi aap isko kari aisa hi chahate hai, to number of poles should keep on increasing. That means number of sections will keep on increasing. That is the problem with larger amount of money you spend on that. So, ye Butterworth filter hai bahut powerful hai, ok, but uska apna problem hai ki it require larger section to make it sharper, ok. Now, if I say I do not use that condition of maximally flat, then I must say can I get sharperness with a lower number of poles and that I will call they are Chebyshev filters. We will come back to Butterworth in more details, but 
this theory has to be understood what we are really trying in de uh, design of a filter. Is that point clear? Please remember only two filters will design low pass high pass. Okay. Last time I first said what is the all pass filter which we are not discussed. Maybe here we can quickly show you what is it about before we go to the next. Kya hoga hai? Isko bolte hain all pass. All pass ka kya meaning hai? Ye to yadi transfer function bana h ka magnitude nikala h j omega by h 0 samjho is ka value nikala to ye to constant hai. Everything is passing. To filter to kuch kiya nahi usne. Ye flat kab aa sakta hai? Is ka transfer function kareeb kareeb aisa hona chahiye. Equivalent liya, this is not the exact one. What is it trying to tell you this transfer function? 0 or pole ek hi jaga par hai, 1 upon rc par hi hai, ek 0 hai, ek pole hai. Uska kya meaning hai? 20 dB ek jata hai, to dousra minus 20 dB shuru kar deta hai, wahi par. So, at every frequency you get flat, is that correct? However, even if you see this function, Iska transfer function to thik hai aisa hai magnitude, but iska kya change hoga iska? Phase, okay, phase can vary depending on RC values, phase can vary from 0 to 180 degree. So, whenever the transfer function filters you create and you want a particular phase at the output between in and out, then you connect the last stage of your filter can be a all pass filter with proper phase requirements. Is that clear to you? What is the advantage of this? Iska gain to one hi ho gaya, na sab kuch pass hai, okay. But iska phase adjust kiya ja sakta hai, kyunki ye minus plus jo value hai, iska the phase tan inverse nikalenge do iska, to iska phase varying hai, RC par. Is that correct? So, the net phase at the output compared to your input need not be just the uh, product of their uh, magnitude h1, h2, h3, h4, but also I can adjust my final phase with the input. Is that correct? Many requirements the output should need should be either 180 degree off or less than 180 for the stability case. So, we actually create the last stage as all pass filters, okay. Though it does not change your whatever h1, h2 you brought, everything it will pass anyway, but it will give you a phase bit whatever phase difference between the final stage of filter to the actual stage where you are connecting. So, please remember the all pass filter as such word seems to be funny, why are uh, if everything is passing what is being filtered, okay. There is nothing is actually what is phase is also please remember any complex system will have something e to the power j phi magnitude into e to the power j phi. So, it is the magnitude may, may be one unity everywhere, but the phase is not, is that clear? And that phase variations can be attained by proper choice of RCs, is that clear? This essentially is the trick of phase controls, okay. We do something called phase control oscillators, okay. We do use some of some such property there, is that correct? Phase control oscillators, okay. okay. All the filters which we are going to talk are essentially in real life this can be a polynomial of n by n or m by n. It can be s cube s 4 s n same way s b 0 s something more up to s n. But us may say many square terms in luckily. Usko kya bolenge? Kyo bola iska naam y quadratic? The numerator bhi quadratic function hai aur denominator bhi quadratic function hai. So, in filter we actually try to see whether both Butterworth or Shebeshai functions are biquadratic in nature. Is that correct? We are looking for biquadratic functions. Okay. What is that now I am talking about? It is called implementation. Abhi to real life a gaya. Abhi kaise implement karte? So, we say okay, let us look functions. If I have a biquadratic function like this a 2 s square plus a 1 s by a 0 upon s square plus b 1 s plus b 0, this is also given in Sedra Smith and me 
I can have I can part of this function I can create into low pass, bypass, band pass, high pass, whatever it is. Okay. So, look at the numerator may sub kuch s terms nahi hai, any zeros nahi hai, sir constant value hai, something called k. If that functions are k upon s square omega 0 by q s, s is this plus omega 0 square. Have any time you heard of the word q? Q kya hota actually? Quality factor, na? omega l by r 1 upon omega r c, they are also quality factor. Now, this quality factor ka ek or dusra kya bolte na? Avatar hai. If I apply a step input to any amplifier or any circuit, the output essentially does not respond instantaneously. Is that point clear? What did I say? If I give, okay, maybe that figure which I have, I can still use. If I apply a step input, something like this, this is my input. So, the output does not respond immediately, it starts rising. And let us say trans function has a value 1, it should have actually reached here, it did not. So, what it did? What is this word we call? Ringing, okay, ringing. So it starts ringing. Of course, settles. Okay. But ideally, kya chahiye tha? Mujhe aisa hi chahiye tha. Aisa to nahi mila mujhe. Ring ho gaya. Jada, iska jo damping factor hai, jo ki usko jaldi se niche laega, usko bolte ki small ki rather. Iska definition ye hai ki ye 1 upon 2 q hota hai actually. K which is the damping factor or in some books it will be zeta, okay. it will be called zeta. So, zeta is 1 upon 2 q. So, what does that essentially means? That ideally I want something to happen like this, okay. depending on higher value. So, you can see if I put a very high zeta 1 ke kareeb hai. So, ye aisa ho jayega. It, may it may reach at asymptotically only to the actual value. Asymptotic ka minimum kya hai? Infinite pe jake 1 honne wala hai. Is it? Yadhi mein zeta kam rakhu ho, to bhoati jada ring kar kya jayega. So, I will have to adjust my zeta so that very close to that value, I will get flatter response. There. Is that clear? So, damping factor has something to do with the quality factor by a function which is this. Okay. So, if the transfer function has a nature of k upon s square omega 0 by omega 0 is the pole omega uh, cut off frequency into s sorry yahan par plus omega 0. Okay. Is it quadratic s square plus s plus something? So, it is a quadratic term. Numerator does not have any quadratic term constant as a function low pass dega, low poles hai na, low pass dega. However, if the numerator has a term which contains s square, kitne zero hai par? Multiple zero at zero, multiple two zero at zero, okay. 40 dB se shuru karega ho. Ye hai do, to kya ho gaya? Faster rise kiya aur baad mein s square s square term to ek dusre ko cut kar dengi to wo flat ho gaya to kya mila aapko high pass in band pass instead of s square if you now want afterward another cut off to occur to yahan sirf s rakho okay so you can do this analysis but if you have a function which is k dot remember the denominator is same everywhere and in the band reject you should have cut off at some other point. So, s square plus omega 0 square. If the asa function hai, so it will be band rigid. So, if I can create by these two names I give Butterworth and Shebeshai functions closer to this, then I can say I am creating low pass, high pass, band pass, band rigid. Ek or cheez hai, I say even this function should give me low pass. Why did I say so? It has a 0. Okay. So, initial value can be pumped up. Okay. 
but then after the pole it actually starts falling down anyway. Okay. So, this value bhi badli ja sakti hai, aisa hai yadi s into s plus z hai, to high pass bhi banaya ja sakta hai, is that clear? So, the, generally this we may not use, but this is also possible in designs. We always use these four functions, which are the easiest to make okay. and these are the four functions we will realize in either Butterworth form or in Chebyshev form. What are the advantages of the two? Chebyshev gives me lesser number of poles circuit to create sharper fall at the cost I will get ripple. Butterworth will not give me ripple or very little ripple, but will take larger number of poles to get the same as if Shebesha. Shebesha let us say 5 section, Butterworth may take 7 sections or 8 sections, is that clear? So, the, at the cost of money, real cost, I may create Butterworth even for higher poles, but ideally I say I can choose either Shebesha or Butterworth to my specification. If this is my quadratic form, let us take the low pass 1, it is h 0 upon some constant ke liye ab h 0, omega 0 se divide kar diya aur usko mene h 0 kar diya. So, it is h 0 s square upon omega 0 square 1 upon q s upon omega 0 plus 1, ye ek transfer function hai, kitne poles dikhne chahiye aapko? Do poles. अब h0 क्रिएट करने के लिए गेन चलेगा ना लहर चाहिए ना h0 के लिए गेन लगेगा 1 होता तो जरूरत नहीं पड़ता अब कुछ तो गेन फैक्टर चाहिए तो ये जो एम्पलीफायर बनाया दिस सर्किट हैज एन एम्पलीफायर हियर इज दैट करेक्ट r3 r4 रखा है ना ये एम्पलीफायर है गेन फंक्शन दिया मैंने आपको उससे आप h0 क्रिएट करने वाले हैं ये क्या है ये दो कैपेसिटर दो रेजिस्टर ये क्या है ये दो टाउस फंक्शंस हैं यदि ये दो सीरीज में रेजिस्टेंस है और दो पैरल ऐसे कैपेसिटेंस है तो क्या सर्किट बना रहे थे हम अभी बनाया ना एक मिनट पहले लो पास ओके लो पास अब इसको इसका ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इस फॉर्म में आता है कि नहीं देखिए आप इज दैट पॉइंट क्लियर अभी निकाला ना क्रिश्चिया फ्लॉ सॉल्व करके इसका ट्रांसफर फंक्शन निकाला ना इन गेन इसमें ओनली थिंग इज इन इसका गेन भी है तो ये ट्रांसफर फंक्शन और वो ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सेम आते हैं क्या हम देख सकते हैं इट फॉलोज द सिमिलर पैटर्न देन व्हाट डू वी से बाय क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म इस टाइप के इसमें फिट बैठेगा तो फिल्टर करने ही वाला है इज दैट क्लियर देयर इज से नो इवन बफर वुड डू द सेम एज वेल एज दिस बफर में हम ये चाह गेन देना नहीं चाहते थे नॉर्मल एम्पलीफायर भी r2 r1 एक रखोगे तो भी वो गेन ही है even op-amp does the same thing what buffer does, the only difference between buffer and an op-amp is that we do not want to use any additional components because I do not need gain there. If I need gain, I will put resistors. So, essentially if R is shorted here, I am going to get a unity gain, that is what I am saying. Even in op-amp that R0 is still lower. Only thing is now it will be a function of these value, there it will be the intrinsic value. Is that the difference clear? Now R3, R4 will also affect that R0 value. Is that clear? So, R0 will not be same as what we naturally device was giving, it will get modified by these feedback factors. Is that correct? So, there is slight difference, but the nature is same. R0 will go down and Ri will increase, will remain same independent of that. Is that clear to you? Only thing we are there, we are not interested in actually getting gain out of it. We only want resistance transfer, natural resistance is available. So, put a buffer in okay, or unity gain follower. Okay. Okay. So, this is the transfer function. Now, I have done this just directly. R1, R2, C1, C2, S square plus S times bigger bracket C2 plus R, C2 into R1, R2 plus R1 C1 into 1 minus AB0 bracket close plus 1. Let us say R1 and R2 are same and that is R and let us say C1 and C2 is also same which is C. Okay. Then I get this function is R square C square S square 
R C 3 minus A B 0 S plus 1. Yeah, we have to see what is this? Why I am doing this? Please look at my transfer function for low pass. S square omega 0 by Q into S plus omega 0 square. Yeh transfer function chahiye tha na by quad mein. If I create Q is equal to this and omega 0 equal to this, then I am actually doing by quad. Is that clear? If I choose my Q which is under root R1, R2, C1, C2 divided by this R1, C1 minus this, this and I choose my omega 0 is 1 upon R1, R2, C1, C2 under root of that then I am essentially converting this function into S square plus omega 0 by Q S plus omega 0 square which is my by quad transfer function for low pass. Is that clear? Abhi jo low pass ka jo function banaya hai mene, I converted it equivalently in this form. This we have already said by theory. Now if it you can see the expression between the two is identical. They are identical only thing the values correspondingly should be like this. If these values are there these two functions are identical is that correct? That means with these values this function will represent a low pass filter is that clear? You see this by quad function which is this S square omega this we have already proved by theory this is a by quad two poles hai niche aane wala hai. Equivalent edhi mene sir now please remember what did I do? I had to implement this function. So I said okay here is a circuit with me I tried this circuit by my earlier theory also but I know I put this circuit. I evaluated this transfer function is that okay. Then I say if I compare with my by quad function I get these values and if I get these values that this function and that by quad function is identical is that correct. Since that was a low pass filter this also should do me a low pass action is that clear with cutoff frequency now how much 1 upon R C R square C square means 1 upon R C and Q is R C divided by this much is that clear. So if I get this the cutoff frequency is 1 upon R C Q is 1 minus 3 upon A B 0 and for this can you think why I put this condition? Q is A V 0 should be less than 3. What will happen? If A V 0 is greater than 3, what will happen? Look at this function. Kya hoga? Oh minus poles will go into the right half plane. Okay. So kya ho gaya? Kya bola tha stability ka? Ki phase margin hamesha 180 se pehle reh jana chahiye. Iska matlab pole hamesha left half mein rehna chahiye. Wo right half mein ja raha tha. To condition kya? Is that now condition clear? This low pass filter will keep acting as a low pass as long as A V 0 is less than 3. A V 0 is decided by what? What is A V 0 value there? 1 plus R 2 by R 1 or which is it is a so R 3 minus R 3 by R 2. R 3 by R 2 ka ratio should never be greater than 3. Is that correct? It should be never be greater than 3 if that value is never greater than 3 then stability will achieve this function will implement a low pass filter is that correct at this cutoff what is the fall it will start at this cutoff ye double pole hai yahan par 40 dv se niche aana shuru ho gaya aapka is that correct jitne pole trick kya khel rahe hain bataye ki aapko fir se batata hu main kya bar bar karna chahta hu aur kyun dikh what I am trying is, ek method to aisa hai ki ek pole yahan aur dousra pole yahan. Then I am not sure whether phase stability is guaranteed. So what make a yahi se adhi aisa kiya to, oh sorry, aisa kiya to. To mein filter ke bilkul ideal situation mein ja raha hai. Is that clear? I want ideally this. So I say okay, aisa nahi, aisa nahi, aisa nahi. I want to come as close to the ideal value. So poles jitne usi point pe rahenge cut off par utna hi sharp niche aayega. 3 pole honge ta kitne db se niche aayega? 60 db se niche aayega. 10 pole lagayenge to samajh lijiye one whatever it is 2 mini 180 db se niche aana shuru hua to bahut hi sharp ho jayega. 10 poles ka meaning kya hua? Kitne section lagenge? 
टेन सेक्शन इज दैट क्लियर सो ये डेफिनेशन से मैंने आपको बताया कि कोई भी फिल्टर इस बाइक्वाड फंक्शन में फिट करिए ओके okay. अच्छा इसका हाई पास करना है तो क्या करना पड़ेगा ये सी सी करिए और ये आर आर कर दीजिए और ये हाई पास हो जाएगा इज दैट करेक्ट दिस विल बिकम एन हाई पास ओके इनको अलग अलग पोल्स जीरो से एक जगह पर मत आने दीजिए एक को ट्वेंटी डी बी रखिए एक को ट्वेंटी डी बी जीरो पे रखिए लो पास हाई पास अलग अलग करिए तो बैंड पास और बैंड रिजेक्ट भी इसी से क्रिएट हो सकते हैं इज दैट क्लियर वहाँ एक जीरो जरूर चाहिए हाँ जीरो के लिए क्या करना पड़ता है एक आउटपुट टू इनपुट फीडबैक जो है थोड़ा पॉजिटिव होना चाहिए ना फीड फॉरवर्ड सिचुएशन आनी चाहिए यदि फीड फॉरवर्ड नहीं हुआ तो जीरो क्रिएट नहीं होता नॉर्मल एम्पलीफायर में फीड फॉरवर्ड रहता ही है फीडबैक ज़्यादा रखते हैं इसलिए नेट निगेटिव हो जाता है पर यदि वो नेट निगेटिव कम किया जाए तो पॉजिटिव फीडबैक क्रिएट कर सकते हैं तो हम जीरो भी बना सकते हैं सम अदर डे आई शो यू इन ए गिवन सर्किट हाउ जीरो आर इंट्रोड्यूस आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ जीरो इज एक पॉइंट से आउटपुट जाते वक्त इनपुट टू आउटपुट जाते वक्त इफ यू हैव टू पार्ट्स आउट ऑफ फेज एट ए गिवन फ्रीक्वेंसी दे हैव सेम वैल्यू देन द जीरो इज क्रिएटेड आउटपुट गोज टू जीरो इज दैट करेक्ट दैट कंडीशन ऑलवेज कैन बी क्रिएटेड बाई प्रॉपर चॉइसिस ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एज वेल एज द कॉम्पोनेंट्स यू यूज एक सिर्फ कैपेसिटर से जीरो क्रिएट नहीं होगा क्या करना पड़ेगा वहाँ पर एक आरसी डालना पड़ेगा ठीक है ऐसा सोचिए कि क्या करने से जीरो भी लाया जा सकता है ठीक है दिस दिस इज अनादर विच इज इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट फिल्टर ओके दिस इज एन आईसी फिल्टर ओके इसका यह मतलब नहीं है कि आईसी नहीं है इसमें आई और कॉम्पोनेंट यूज किए गए हैं डिस्क्रीट है यहाँ पर ये एक इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट फिल्टर ही है बाजार में ऐसे ही मिलता है वो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर एंड ऑपरेशनल ट्रांस कंडक्टेंस एम्पलीफायर क्या फर्क होता होगा इनपुट कुछ है आउटपुट का रेशो एम्पलीफायर चार तरह के मैंने बोला था तो ट्रांस कंडक्टेंस एम्पलीफायर का क्या आउटपुट होगा करंट इनपुट क्या होगा वोल्टेज सिर्फ आई एन एम्पलीफायर हुज आउटपुट करंट इज कंट्रोल बाय इनपुट सिग्नल then I have a operational trans conductance amplifier. Typically op amp का यदि buffer stage जो मैंने दिखाया नहीं आपको output से दिखाया नहीं दिखाऊंगा मैं आपको वो हटा दिया जाए तो amplifier थोड़ा सा modify करते हैं डिफ एम प्लस गेन स्टेज टू गेन स्टेज लगाते हैं एंड सच इज कॉल्ड ओ टी ए ऑपरेशनल ट्रांस कंडक्टेंस एम्पलीफायर फर्गेट अबाउट वॉट इज इन साइड डिस्क उसकी प्रॉपर्टी सिर्फ ढूंढ लीजिए एंड ओ टी ए में यू हा इसका सिंबल देख लीजिए क्या डिफरेंस है सिंबल में वट इज द डिफरेंस यू सी इधर ऐसा एक कट लगाया हुआ है मैंने ट्राइंगल नहीं बनाया क्या बनाया है ट्रेपोसाइड बना दिया मैंने ये हायर है और ये लोअर है इतना ही ध्यान रखो ओके सो यू हैव ए डिफरेंस सिग्नल ऑफ वी टू माइनस वी वन और वी वन माइनस वी टू एंड देर इज एन आउटपुट करंट एंड देर इज ए बायस करंट कॉल आई बायस जो कि कहाँ से आता है आई बायस करंट जो डिफेम का लोअर स्टेज आर फाइव लगाते हैं ना वो उसका बायस करंट देता है आई एस एस वही आई फाइव है आई बायस है यहाँ पर यदि इसका आउटपुट करंट आई आउट है सो इसका जो गेन है उसको जी एम कैपिटल जी एम बोलते हैं जी कैपिटल दैट इज ट्रांजिस्टर का जी एम या नॉर्मल जी एम जो होगा वो डिफेम का जी एम वन प्लस जी एम टू है एक्चुअली जी एम इफेक्टिव है मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के है के इज ए मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर सो आई कैन इम्प्रूव द ट्रांस कंडक्टेंस बाय दिस के फैक्टर ओके करंट कैसे बढ़ाते हैं आउटपुट में एक मिरर करके करंट बढ़ाया कैसे बढ़ाते हैं साइज उसका डबल ट्रिपल सो के इज एसेंशियली साइज फैक्टर ओके एक एम्पलीफायर में एक ट्रांजिस्टर का जीएम कैसा होता है टू बीटा डाइस डब्ल्यू बायल इन टू आई बायस इसको यदि के टाइम्स कर दिया जाए के वन भी रख सकते हैं ऐसा नहीं है जीएम कैन बी जीएम ओके सो दिस इज द फंक्शन अब एक देखो इतना सिंपल सर्किट इसको इन फिल्टर्स को भी इनका एक और नाम है जी एम और जी एम फिल्टर
अभी देखो इधर एक ओ है उसका एक इनपुट वीन है नॉन इन्वर्टिंग पर दिया है इसके फीडबैक पाथ में एक पार्शली फॉलोअर लग जैसे लिखा है पर यहाँ एक कैपेसिटर लगाया है मैंने ओके और आउटपुट करंट इज आई आउट ओके सो वॉट इज वी आउट करंट तो प्लीज रिमेंबर इज एनी करंट कैन गो हियर नो करंट कैन एंटर ओपैम सो वॉट एवर इज कमिंग हियर मस्ट गो थ्रू दी कैपेसिटन इज दैट पॉइंट क्लियर नो करंट कैन एंटर ओपैम यहां से आने वाला करंट कैन ओनली पास थ्रू कैपेसिटर एज इट कैन नॉट गेट इन टू दिस इनपुट ओपैम ओके सो यहां और यहां का करंट आई आउट है सो आई आउट इन टू वन अपॉन सी एस इज माई वी आउट सो आई आउट बाय वी इन इज कैपिटल जी एम विच इज वॉट द ट्रांसकंडक्टर एम्पलीफायर गेव एंड अश्यूम राइट नाउ के इज वन ओके सो जी एम इज जी एम However, I out by transconductance की थ्योरी से I out कितना होना चाहिए Capital जी एम टाइम्स वी इन माइनस वी आउट यह कितना वोल्टेज है वी आउट यह कितना वोल्टेज है ये फीडबैक है ना तो वी आउट सो वी इन माइनस वी आउट इज द डिफरेंस पोटेंशियल सो जी एम टाइम्स वी डी इज द एक्चुअल करंट विच इज कमिंग आउट फॉर एन ओ टी ए करेक्ट द टर्म्स ये और ये को मिलाओ सो वी आउट बाई वी एन इज वन अपॉन सी एस अपॉन वन अपॉन जी एम पोल किधर है जी एम बाय सी पर एक पोल है जी एम बाय सी पर एक पोल है इज दैट करेक्ट इसको एडजस्ट करो ना ये सी को नीचे ले आओ जी एम को वन अपॉन जी एम है ना वन अपॉन जी एम यानी क्या रेजिस्टेंस है कि क्या है जी एम इज कंडक्टेंस so one upon gm is resistance so one upon rcs low pass filter ka function dikh raha hai aapko one up, one plus rcs pole is at one upon rc but r is one upon gm so gm upon c this is the pole is that correct yadi ye pole hai matlab kya cut off frequency hai low power iske liye ye jo circuit hai iska ek bahut bada limitation hai let's say i want a low pass which has a very high cut off frequency so what does that mean that is a filter has a bandwidth of 10 megahertz or 100 megahertz kya zaruri hai c should be small okay. but c can be created in a silicon circuit whatever smallest point 0 1 pop or some one femtofarad tens of femtofarad i may create par uske proportion mein gm bhi kam hona chahiye isn't it सर जी एम भी बढ़ाना चाहिए जी एम बढ़ाना है क्या होगा यहाँ पर साइज बढ़ा दिया सो यदि इतना बड़ा ट्रांजिस्टर रखा और इतना सा कैपेसिटर रखा तो बैंडविड बढ़ा सकते हैं बट रियल लाइफ में आपको डब्ल्यू बाय एल चार आठ बारह से ज्यादा नहीं बढ़ाने देंगे तो इसको बहुत छोटा बड़ा नहीं कर सकते इसको बहुत छोटा नहीं कर सकते इसका मतलब क्या है कि इसकी बैंडविड हमेशा लिमिटेड ही रहेगी is that correct why gmc filters are not very very popular so they are used where they will use less than a megahertz cut off chahiye hai aapko hundreds of kilohertz 500 kilohertz so ye simple filter use ho sakta hai isse zyada karne ke liye kya zaruri hoga aapko gm badhana padega alternatively gm kahan se badha sakte hain aap i bias se par i bias badha hai to power dissipate kar jayega okay so you have to now worry in a chip how much power i will be given to dissipate what is the smallest value of capacitance i can create during whatever processing i have and therefore what is the maximum size i will be allowed to because the area constraint so maximum frequencies can never be greater than a megahertz is that correct why megahertz nahi to puche aisa kisi theory mein to kuch bhi rakh sakte ho na idhar 10 to power 100 rakho idhar 10 to power minus 24 likho to गीगा हर्ट्स क्या वॉट एर नंबर वी कैन क्रिएट दैट्स मैथ्स बट इन रियालिटी सच ओ टी ए फिल्टर्स कैन बी यूज ओनली फॉर लिमिटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज अप टू ए मेगा हर्ट मैक्सिम प्रिफरेबली फाइव हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स ओके ये मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी मिलती है आपको ये सी जो आपको दिखाया ये छोटा क्यों नहीं हो सकता इसमें अभी तक हमने बोला नहीं वहाँ पैरासिटिक्स हैं सब वो इसके सब पैरल में आ रहे हैं 
तो आप एक्चुअल सी भले ही छोटा कर दें जिससे आप बना रहे थे बट बाकी कैपेसिटेंसी उसको मार देंगे एक्चुअली वन ऑफ सी वन प्लस सी टू हो जाएंगे वो सी वन सी टू सी थ्री भी आएंगे सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू रिड्यूस सी नेट सी डिफिकल्ट टू इंक्रीज जी एम एंड देर वी से जी एम बाई सी इज लिमिटेड अप टू ए मेगाहर्ट्स और प्रिफरेबली फाइव हंड्रेड किलो मोस्ट ऑफ द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी कंटिन्यूस फिल्टर्स आर ओ टी ए फिल्टर्स मोस्ट ऑफ दी लो फ्रिक्वेंसी अप टू हंड्रेड किलो हर्स गारंटीडली इट वर्क फंटास्टिक सो जी एम सी फिल्टर वट इज द एडवांटेज लो पावर रिलेटिवली वेरी फ्यू कॉम्पोनेंट्स वेरी स्मॉल चिप वेरी चीप चिप एंड कैन फिल्टर इट अप टू फ्यू किलो हर्ट्स हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स दीज फिल्टर्स आर एक्सटेंसिवली यूज इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी हार्डवेयर वेयर ऑडियो सिग्नल फ्रिक्वेंसीज आर इन नेचर वट एवर सिस्टम यू आर लुकिंग मोस्टली इन ऑडियो then these filters are ideal video kahan se shuru hota hai 60 megahertz and above to ye video range ke liye nahi hai is that correct 60 megahertz ke above ye use nahi hoga 60 tak jayega hi nahi isliye audio range tak hi ye filter use kiya ja sakta is that correct this is also bicward because it it also uses the same low pass function मैं कल आपको बताऊंगा पर आप आज जाने के पहले आपको एक फिगर बताता हूँ टू ओ टी एस एंड टू कैपेसिटर्स कैन बी मैनिपुलेटेड बाय डिफरेंट सिग्नल्स एट वी वन वी टू वी थ्री जीरो वन जीरो वन करिए एंड यू कैन क्रिएट ऑल फोर फिल्टर्स आउट ऑफ दैट विल कम बैक टू इट नेक्स्ट टाइम विल स्टार्ट ऑन दिस जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू अभी जो एक दिखाया मैंने इसी को यूज करते हुए इसी थ्योरी को यूज करते हुए हमने एक यूनिवर्सल फिल्टर बनाया है जो कि चारों फिल्टर डिजाइन कर सकता है बट नन ऑफ देम विल बी गुड इसके होने के बाद देन विल शो कि अच्छा ही चाहिए तो फिर क्या करते हैं तो फिर बटरबर्थ और शिवेशा की तरफ नजर डालेंगे और अच्छा फिल्टर बना लेंगे ओके ये ये सर्किट मैं आपको फिर से बताऊंगा जस्ट टू शो यू दैट सेम ब्लॉक कैन बी यूटिलाइज टू मेक यूनिवर्सल 